right, uh, we got the Lenovo Idea Center 300 stick. Got it uh, booted up here. Uh, do a little quick setup. I do have the, uh, as you can see, the just kind of hanging there right now by the extension. But I'm using my Logitech uh, K400R USB wireless. <clears throat> Go to customize on especially on Windows 10. I'm gonna set some of these things up. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. We're gonna setting things up for me. So I'll do skip this step. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do VIP user. No password. I want to see how well this does as far as a media type PC, you know, uh, movies, Netflix basically, mainly uh, internet browsing, things like that. Maybe a few light games, depending on how my Steam browser goes. I'm going to pause it, be right back as soon as it's at the desktop. Alright, made it to the desktop. First thing I always do is change this to an icon. Alright, and so we've got the Intel Z3735F. Like I said, it's 1.33 turbo up to 1.83 actually. I know I said 1.86 boxing, I mean. We got 2 gigabytes of RAM, that's DDR3L. And a 32 bit OS. And see, so we go to this PC right out of the box. Uh, we've got 21 gigabytes of free space, starting out of that 32 gigabytes of actual storage space. Okay, looks about, yeah, 1 gigabyte recovery partition and a well, that's weird, a 100 megabyte on the other on the system partition. Hmm. So it is a quad, a uh, full quad, no hyper thread. Four cores, four threads. Yeah, 
Alright, well. First thing, Google Chrome. Seems to be browsing pretty fast. And let's see. <clears throat> And right now, like I said, it is at 1080p resolution, which that's, that's what the screen is. So. Just want to see how it performs. Oh no. <sighs> of course. Yay. Alright, it's a little 7 zip. That CPU's clocked up all the way to 2.15. It's above its turbo. <laughs> this is max speed 1.83. It's clocked to 2.15. Well, that's what we've got there on the total rating for two runs. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and record this part. It's probably going to end up badly. But as you can see, this is the Intel HD graphics. It's the Rogue GPU. Uh, 32 nanometer release date from 2013. Uh, four shaders. Ooh, big shaders. DirectX support 9C. I like how they're running that on a Windows 10. Uh, unknown. There's a lot of unknowns, especially with the GPU clock. <clears throat> but uh, just here at idle, it's 52 Celsius. All right, so I had to download an update. I've been running this for maybe 10 seconds you can see the uh, temp went up to right there at 60 degrees celsius it was at 52 so I'm only using 76 meg of dynamic the GPU is still at zero kind of disconcerting but Yeah, this over here is, should be like a fluid motion 
not a uh, sketchy so I would probably not recommend gaming on this wanted you all to see the extracting speed of a 250 or so meg file. Pretty slow. But then again, it speeds up soon as it gets uh, bigger files and slows back down. Gives you just a sneak of the speed. see how uh, Cinebench scores. I'm not assuming, or I'm assuming this to be pretty low, but This is an older version of Cinebitch, but it's kind of a reason I chose it. You can see the .97 score there. OpenGL test just to just to see what it gets. And we're waiting still. It took about six minutes to complete the CPU test. Just to give you an idea of the speed here. Pause it until it comes on. I know this isn't really a, a real world test for this. Uh, 5.42 frames a second. Just kind of a, you know, give you an idea against other. Alright, let's see. try to play this. I tried to play it in standard but it wouldn't. If I have the file on this actual hard drive and it would not play.
So this does actually play. I'll show you what the actual video file on the hard drive does. This is actually what it does within VLC Media Player. Uh, but I did actually play through the one that's built into Windows 10, the Movie Player. Show you here. That actually plays smoothly in here, so. So well, uh, this is a small look into the Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300. Nice little device, you know this Idea Center 300 stick. And for the price point, you know, we went from 100 to 150 dollars, depending on where you find it at. Good internet machine, uh, small compact, I mean, as you can see there, that's the device. I mean, it does have a power, power cable, goes down into the mess of wires down there, but the device itself is pretty small. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, if you're looking for just a simple machine to have in the living room or you know, if you have a elderly grandparent or a child or you know, somebody that just wants basic web access, this is a pretty decent machine for all that. It has wireless and Bluetooth. Uh, also has one USB port and a micro SD card slot. So yeah, have a good one guys.